All right, guys. So here are 11 of my 13 AKs. Two of my AKs, which are my Sam 7 R, which you guys know all about. It's my favorite one. And my Vepper 12. So besides those, here are 10, uh, 11, actually. This is a Ghost AK. This one's a new one for 2016. Um, this one shoots 30 round magazine round clips, 10 shots per second, and uh, it, it's a really good ghost gun. Uh, but now, without joking aside, this this is a gun that's on it's in route, it's in route. Um, on my high standard video, which the high standard's over there, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that I had a full suppressor on a M85, M85 pistol, but I sold it. And I got myself an M92, which the reason being was magazines. Um, I have a ton of Circle 10 magazines. I have a ton of Magpul, um, the new steel reinforced magazines, some Magpul non-reinforced, a lot of steel com block stuff. I mean, totaling, I mean, I have probably around 65 magazines or so, um, totaling all of them so when I got the M85 which is not here because I sold it uh, to get the M92 um, that was the best choice for me and but when I got it it was because it was a really good deal and I thought I would like it but then I'm like no I really I should stick with the 762 magazine anyways so let's start off with the top row let's, let's go to top row or let's do the bottom so this is a Walser 10 um, these three, these first three are Wasser 10s. Um, the Battlefield pickup, uh, I just saw a video on that, but you didn't see a video on this one. This one um, was a pawn shop find, and it was all tactical down like that. So it, it was, you know, okay, let me get this straight. I love this style of AK. You know, the wood with, you know, Battle Worn. Or, you know, like my Sam 7. The Sam 7, my Sam 7 is my favorite AK. Like, I'll never get rid of that thing. But uh, I could appreciate a tactic cool AK. I mean, this keeps me from buying an AR. This keeps me from buying an AR because, I mean, ARs are cool guys, but I'm an AK guy. I love me Kalishnikov pattern rifles. And, um, so when I when I saw this, I'm like, oh, it's really cool. It's, you know, it's got the quad rail and stuff like that. And that's not my only one that's like that. Um, but I bought this at a pawn shop. I found it like that. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buy it. it this, this is gonna keep me from buying an AR. Um, so I bought it. And this one I got on my daughter's birthday. Um, because this is basically my daughter's AK. Uh, it's, or it's a representation of her birthday, so it's I bought it for her. And then the I got the one following the FDE is the Sastava, and that one I got it that way too. Um, I got that one with it had uh, the adapter, the Magpul stock, and. Had a pretty cool muzzle brake, but I took it off and I put the AMD 65 on it. And I got a red dot coming for that one, um, TRS 25, and a Midwest Industries uh, handguard rail, uh, quad rail. Reason being is the way that the Sestava is set up, it's not set up good for irons. You can't shoot irons with that stock setup, it's too high. So I'm gonna leave it as is, you know, kind of tactical. And I'm gonna add the rail and the, and the red dot because it's, it's it'll be a better co witness for the way it's set up. The stock can't go any lower, and my cheeks aren't any skinnier. So I guess maybe a skinnier guy or somebody with high cheekbones could you know could pass it off and, and work with it. But okay, and then we got the high standard over there on the far right, and that's a pretty cool little gun. I'm not, I'm gonna admit I, I do kind of like it. I like. I like the finish on it and I like certain things about it. Um, the rivets were, you know, kind of a bummer. And I'll make a video on that later. And then we have uh, the Draco pistol, which I made into that configuration with the Magpul um, setup. 
and you know I put the light on that so that that's really a very versatile pistol that's a pistol AK moving over to the next one it was something that I just found recently and I was looking for it because not only were they going to be hard to find I needed it in my collection I have a little bit of everything in here and that's the 107 uh, folder but that one has the the quad rail uh, from Arsenal and I have a like a crank style uh, Bulgarian four piece flash hider coming from CNC Warrior to replace the AK 74 style on that one. And then moving over to the next one, I, it's a Vepper uh, 762 by 39. And um, that's a really, really nice AK. Um, when I wreck veteran 8888 did the torture test on it. I was really amazed and, and impressed of how that bull barrel and how much abuse that semi-automatic AK turned into full auto did. You know, it started its life as a semi-auto, they made it full auto and it performed and outlasted the AR and you know, like a regular washer AK. You know something that we as humans couldn't possibly do with our own finger you know and you know for semi-auto ak and i just uh when i saw this and i just had to have it you know i wanted versatility in my collection so i i got it and then moving over to the next one is a polish underfolder uh made by atlantic firearms um really really nice uh, the finish um the wood it's refinished. Um, it's a really nice underfolder. And I'm thinking of getting another underfolder. I'm thinking of getting this Astava M70 underfolder, you know, with the grenade launcher and stuff like that. I think that they're really high quality builds, and I, I want one like that. So, like I said, I have a lot of Century products, and they're good products. I mean, what, okay, let's count them. Uh, one, two, okay, so that's going to be one, one, two, three four five six i have six entry products and i want to have seven because i want to get the under folder and then this one i actually bought because i didn't know i could find that one and you see the thing with this one uh it's the slr 107 ur and that was the only thing available at the time um so i bought that one and then it just so happens that I saw this one. So I bought this one and that one two day, a day apart. I got that one first, the 107. And then when I went to go pick it up, because I, I left the deposit one day and I, I was working, came back the next, bought it. And then I saw this one and I'm like, fuck, you know, this, it was real cheap. It was like a little over 500 bucks. And I'm like, shit. So I bought that one. And uh, <laughs> so that's how the collection's been growing, guys. Uh, like I said, the Vepper 12 and the Arsenal, the, the Sam 7, you know, and this one that's in the mail are the only ones missing in the collection. But I plan to have at least, oh man, I want to say 20, maybe 20, 28 case. That's the plan before this election. And that's really another thing that's really kicking the the buying craze off. I mean, I would have had I would have had already like 30 um, easy, but I've, I've already spent uh, like fifteen thousand dollars on equipment for my company. So, you know, work right now is good, guys. Uh, we had a really big hailstorm and uh, work is great. Uh, I've been buying a lot of equipment for my company. And um, so we're, we're growing. So, all right, guys, uh, y'all have a good one. I appreciate everybody watching and staying tuned. And this is like early in the morning and kind of sucks that I'm not working. But I uh, thought I'd make a little video for you guys and hope you guys enjoy it. I know it sucks. It's, let, me, let, me, let me get my ass up. Let me get a little closer HD footage for you guys. If I have enough memory in my phone, it's probably going to die already. They're all real. No pro mag. These are all Circle 10 magazines. Oh, the ones that are waffle like that. 
These are magnet pull steel reinforced. Let's take a look at that bake leg. Oh man, that bake leg looks fucking awesome, man. There's a quad rail from Arsenal. This is a beast. Look at the lettering on that. I mean, that thing is clean. This one has some pretty nice lettering too. Nineteen seventy nine. And then the crink style. Alright guys, y'all have a good one. Appreciate everybody watching.